Hi everybody, so I hope you've tried to solve this yourself first, um, just to kind of give you a bit of that test practice and that critical thinking practice. So this is the information we're giving, how many people preferred this candidate um, from in the poll, right? So so there's a couple of steps here. Uh, the first thing is we got to figure out, well, how many people were polled, right? Uh, but how do we do that, right? So the, the trick of this question is look carefully and you'll see that there's this little plus or minus 4.6% points number here. So what I was hoping is that you might have figured out, well, that's the margin of error right there. And that is, that's the margin of error, okay? And so what we do is we, um, we use our formulas to, first of all, figure out how many people were polled. So if you go to your chapter six formulas, all right, you'll see that for a 95% confidence level, this is the margin of error, and this is the sample size. So we need to figure out the sample size. That's approximately 100 over the margin of error all squared. Now, how do we know it's a 95% confidence level? We don't know for sure, but again, this is kind of part of what I wanted to, to make you guys do. It's just to kind of think, well, what do you think it is? Well, and we've talked a lot in this class about how 95% um, is the standard kind of confidence level um, for margin of error or for uh, normal distributions. All right. So anyway, so we use that formula, and I'm going to use a free online calculator. That's great. It's called Desmos, a Desmos scientific calculator, right? And you can use this too if you want to. So here it is, scientific calculator by Desmos, and so I need to get the um, I need to go parenthesis 100 over 4.6, and then I need to square that. All right, and let's see, I'll click this button here. There, that'll square it. Now press enter, and there it is. It's uh, 472. Um, and so that's given us, and again, the margin of error is, is, uh, is, a, is probably rounded to 4.6%. So they didn't. Uh, poll 472.58 people because that would be like chopping somebody up and if somebody was chopped up into those pieces then you know they couldn't be polled they'd be dead so so it's got to be something like 473 people or 472 on the quiz I'm going to allow um, you know something pretty close so so anyway that's it's about 473 people uh, let's say that were polled We'll round that. And so if that number of people were polled, um, how the question is, um, you know, out of the number of these people called by telephone or polled, how many said they preferred this candidate here on the right, the Kamala Harris? So we get 5% of that number, right? So we go 5% of that or 0 0.05 times 473. And that gives 23.65. So again, we can't say that 23.65 people um, said that they preferred that candidate because, again, there's no such thing as 0.65 of a person. That would not be um, good. So, and, and by the way, um, let me just, uh, there, I need to put that into the screen so you guys can see it. Sorry about that. So, so yeah, here, here's the numbers. So this is 100 over, the, the, there's our 472.58, and we rounded that to 473, 5% of that, 23.65. But, you know, you could have also gone 0 0.05 times, um, you know, the this number here, right? And I would have, you know, given you that, and that gives 23.62 anyway. So hopefully you guys rounded this up to 24. And to be honest, on the quiz, I, you know, if you said 23, I'm going to give that correct as well because this is it's all uh, it's all uh, rounded. So yeah, so we're going to round that to 24 or, or or 23. In fairness, if you want to if you want to give 23, that would be fine as well, right? Yep. So that's the answer there.